Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tutorial for you. Today we're going to talk about how to add a blogger blog to your Mobirai site. Now, there's many reasons you would want to do this. Um, one of the reasons that I'm doing this is because I want to be able to give my clients a way to update their site without having to literally update their site through Mobirai's. Okay, so what we're going to do is it has a couple of tips that I want to add you. It's easy to implement, but you need to do a couple of tips that will make it look better. Okay. So we're going to start out with this site right here. It's just a little tutorial site that I have put together. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is add another page. We're going to call this blog. And before you go to your page, make sure you click on the rename page gear right here, because what you want to do is you want to make sure that your page URL is something that you can type in easily. So we're just going to put here blog.html and uh, then we're going to click away. And here is our page. OK, so uh, what we're going to do is the first thing is add. Uh, we're going to go to the footers and we're going to realize that our footer is already added, but you can't see it because it's behind here. So that's a very important uh, thing to remember that sometimes your footer and your header take up the same space. So when you add uh, your extension and this is the extension we're going to use, we're going to use this uh, free third party uh, HTML editor, which is called Delta Pi. Uh, I have a tutorial on how to install and use Delta Pi. It's a wonderful thing. You don't have to pay any extra. It works really beautifully. So we're going to put it in here like this. And as you can see, the footer isn't below here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just move it and make sure we move it all the way up like that. That way the footer goes below it. OK, so now that we have this set up, we're going to put some code in here. So this is where our code will lie. But I'd like to test my code before putting it in Mobirai. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Code Pen. Uh, if you follow me, you know that I love using Code Pen. And we're going to just go ahead and create an iframe. And then in the iframe, the source right here is where we're going to put our site that we want. So let's go to Blogger. And this is the blogger site that I'm going to be putting on here. So here's my blog right here. Now I've stripped this down to its bare minimum so that it would be, it wouldn't clash with the actual site. And basically this is what I want on my site. So all I have to do is take this, press copy and then paste it in here. And what you get is just this little square of the, of the iframe. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some information in here. We're going to style it. We're going to say width is a hundred percent. And when we do that, we get a hundred percent. So to fill out everything here, I'm just going to put, um, some lorem just so you can see that it's not stretching all the way to the bottom here. So to make it stretch all the way to the bottom, we're going to say height equals 100 viewport height. So we're going to run that. And now it takes up the entire viewport. OK, now you're going to have an issue here. That is you're going to have a double area here. It won't be a big problem if all you have is the the blog, which is what we're going to do. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to make sure that this is just the blog that takes up this space. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make, I'm going to give a maximum width so that if you want, you can scroll up and down on the side here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to give it a max width. of let's just go at 900 pixels and then we have to make sure that it's centered so you see so now we got to make sure that it's centered so to make sure that it's centered we're going to say that the display is block and that way we can give it a margin 
of zero and auto and then we run and now it's centered okay you see that it's centered and now you can go up and down on your page if you want to not worry about the actual blog okay so now that we have that set up I'm going to show you one more issue, but we won't see that issue until we send it in. OK, so let's go ahead and send it in. So we're going to copy the iframe. We're going to go to um, Mobilize. We're going to go right in here to our editor, say all paste. And unfortunately, we won't be able to actually see the, the blog unless you preview. So let's go ahead and preview in browser. OK, so now we have it previewed and everything seems to be working. We have it about the size of our viewport. We can bring it up and down like this. And if we go to inspect and we go to our phone version, we have this issue and this is what I wanted to talk about. So let's go to our cell phone area here. It looks like we're going to need some sort of margin up here. OK, so in order to create that margin, we can just go ahead and create a margin. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our mobile rise here. So then we're going to go to pages. We're going to go to the blog. We're going to edit here. We're going to give a, a margin top. Let's just go here, margin. top of let's dive 50 px and say okay now let's publish or preview and see what happens okay and as you can see now we can see this navigation um pretty good so let's see what happens when we go to inspect and go to cell phone version now we can see everything here. So 50, 50 seems like it was a pretty good um, amount. OK, so now we can scroll up and down here. As though we were on our phone, people can post a comment. Everything that your blogger site can do, this can do it. OK, we can just click here. Or we can go to blog. Oh, that's the one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to give ourselves some links. Let's go to home. Now, the reason I'm going to home is because whatever I apply to home will apply to every page. But whatever I apply to each page individually will change. Um, so let's go ahead and add our button again just so that we can get some space here. some space away from this menu. And so we're going to go to home, make sure that that is linked to the home page. Then we're going to go to the blog, make a link, make sure that that links to the blog, insert link. And now when we preview, we click blog. It brings us straight to the blog. If we go to inspect here, and let's say we click on easy visual light box like that, and then we click blog, it brings us to the home blog, which is exactly what we want. That's basically how you would add a blogger to your mobilized site. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day.